the complications of lung cancer or the symptoms that develop later on are very important. These are red flags that if you see in any patient, you should immediately screen them for lung cancer. These red flags include speech. And so the mnemonic is speech. Most notably, and exam makers love to ask about this, is superior vena cava syndrome. As we know, the superior vena cava drains the upper limbs, the neck, and the head. And a tumor in the lungs can compress the superior vena cava, causing blood to congest in these areas. So the patient will develop congestion, which presents as redness and swelling of these areas. And this is exacerbated if the patient lays down. So superior vena cava syndrome is very, very important. But a tumor can be mild and it can be more lateral in the lung, and this can compress the brachycephalic area. The brachycephalic vein basically drains the right upper limb or left upper limb. It's exactly as superior vena cava syndrome, except that the symptoms are on the right side or the left side. So superior vena cava syndrome is bilateral, while brachycephalic syndrome is unilateral. Paralysis of the diaphragm, and this is usually unilateral. This is one of the latest stages, and it's a bad sign. The tumor would basically invade the phrenic nerve, and this would paralyze the diaphragm on one side. It's unlikely that you will see it in both sides. The patient will have unequal chest expansion. Ectopic hormones. Lung cancers are notorious for being paraneoplastic, and they love to secrete a plethora of hormones, just like testicular cancers. Most notably, ACTH, and this can cause Cushing syndrome. They're also associated with Eaton Lombard syndrome, clubbing of the fingers. The patient will basically have drumstick like fingers, and this is also a sign of any general lung condition that is severe, such as cystic fibrosis. But we also see this sign in heart failure and Horner syndrome which presents mostly with dropping of the eye and inability to sweat in one side of the face. And this is due to the tumor invading the sympathetic chain in the neck. These red flags are very, very important. Use the link below to get access to the full mnemonics course. In this course, we will discuss all the important high yield topics that we see everywhere in the clinical practice. These topics are especially important for healthcare providers. We cover topics like the treatment of acute heart failure, tension pneumothorax, and other